here in the office on Tuesday, April 14th. Still trying to uh, do at least a, one update a week to try to keep you informed on what we're seeing with COVID-19, what we're seeing in the real estate market, and speak to what's going on directly in Athens. So um, you might have gotten in information from us last week, either on social media or through an email, where Friday morning we ran the numbers again. And what we wanted to compare was Watkinsville, Oconee, and athens Clark County, just those two counties, compare the total home sales for 2019 year to date to 2020 year to date. What was probably surprising to many of you to see is the numbers were almost identical. As of last Friday, we had 449 home sales in Clark County and Oconee County. We had 454 home sales last year. The average sold price was 268 this time last year, and last Friday it was 280. So we were up 12,000 on value, and we were just down four or five homes total. So we wanted to note that really the fundamentals of our market were very good. We were right in pace with 2019. What will be interesting to see is how do we manage this over this whole month of April and into early May, because that's really where we might see these numbers be impacted. But what we want to stress to you is there was nothing wrong. <laughs> so what we're seeing is a reduction in activity, not a something bad in property values or something like that. What we're finding is it feels like to us about 50% of the market is being reduced. So 50% of the people are greatly affected by this immediately and have left the market. Inside that 50% of people are also some folks that are just quite frankly fearful. And then the other 50% are folks that have to be in the market because of what's going on with their job, their life, or they remain resilient and confident. So what we're seeing is gonna be a reduction in activity, but there's still plenty of it. Quite frankly, I would say I'm surprised at how busy we have been. It may not be the overall activity, but I know a lot of realtors are very busy and some of that, there's a little bit more management and more that we need to do to make sure these things close on time. We're using more technology. And, uh, but for the most part, we are seeing very little fall off. There are some contracts that are going to fall apart because a buyer might have a business directly related to what's being shut down, restaurant, hotel. But for the most part, closings are happening very smoothly. I've been very impressed to see how the state, the governor, our closing attorneys and lenders are all working very well to keep these things moving. Personally, uh, if I were to go back three weeks ago, I had a lot of concerns about five to ten transactions, and every one of them is held together. Now that's been good work on some people, but it's also been uh, fortunate that those buyers were not directly impacted by these uh, shutdowns. So we are going to see some people that are that are hurting right now. Um, there's no doubt about that. But it really seems to me that what we've got to manage through this next part is we can get the showings done, we can do virtual closings, we can do virtual showings, we can manage distance. What we can't seem to manage is people's fear. And that's just going to vary from person to person. I, it's understandable if someone is scared of what the economy is going to do or look like. You know, uh, if you have a business that's immediately impacted and you have no revenue coming in, that's understandable. What is sometimes worrisome is to see people sort of speculate on fear when they really don't have an understanding of it. Uh, I'm happy to report we have all rent coming in. We have not seen anything happen with that. And... You know, I do feel that there will be some impacts of this, but I, I think, as we're seeing, the calmer heads are probably going to prevail. What I mean by that is there are people that we know that have stepped out of the market for only reason being just to see what happens. Now, if you've stepped out of the market because you have a financial reason, for instance, your job, your revenue, it's totally understandable. But if you're stepping out of the market and sitting back on the sidelines saying, I just want to see what happens, you might be missing the opportunities that are happening right now. There's a misnomer that, well, you know, maybe the values are going to go down and, and this is going to happen and in three months I'll get a steal. Well, you need to recognize what opportunities are happening now. There are people that are selling a house or an investment property or whatever it might be in this climate and that's the opportunity. So it's not waiting around for it. If you are financially secure and you need to move, you should feel secure. Now, if you're not, it's totally understandable. If you don't know what your job's gonna look like and you don't know what that future holds. We understand stepping out of the market. But opportunities are existing today and sitting on the sidelines may not be the right thing because if we get through this, let's say sometime in May, 
well, there's going to be a huge surge of activity. A lot of people are going to get off the fence, and all of a sudden, there's more competition. Thankfully, we'd hope there'd be more listings, but there may not be. And if we have all these buyers enter the fray, and the listings are slow to come, you're going to see opportunities go by the wayside. Now, again, that's hopeful and wishful thinking because we really don't know. But I can tell you what it feels like and what we're seeing. And we still see a strong market. It's going to be reduced. I'll be really curious to see what the numbers look like when we do them again in May. And I expect to see them lower than 2019, but I don't expect them to fall off a cliff. Um, you know, I do think the last thing we want to say, as I always try to close on, is the importance of taking this seriously and being safe. Uh, today, I'm right now the only person in the office. Um, all of the, the things we're seeing in real estate are being done very separately. In fact, it's unique. I, I haven't been to an inspection. I haven't been to an appraisal or a closing. And a lot of the agents in our office haven't either. Face-to-face um, -face interaction is happening very minimal. And it really has been impressive to see what we can get done. But the one point about this video, I won't try to make it too long, is we have got a strong market. The fundamentals are sound. It's what happens over these next 30 days and how much does it reduce our activity. We're still able to bring properties to market. We're still closing them. The higher end is probably seeing less activity, but that's typical. Lower properties below 300 are moving much faster. So just know that if you've got to make a move, we can still get it done. Hopefully we'll see this ourselves through this in a short amount of time, and we can look back on this as something that we were able to manage as a town, a state, and a country, and look back on it and say, Hopefully we'll be better prepared the next time it happens. But in the meantime, if you have any questions about the market, what you think your values are doing, or maybe getting a plan to act, feel free to reach out to anybody here at 5 Market Realty.